Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In this tutorial we will go through how to use the GSH 230K 30mm auto cannon. This cannon is uh, the bread and butter and uh, the main armament on the hind and it will be a weapon that you will be using a lot. Using it is uh, quite simple so let's uh, get going. And as you can see here on the armament panel we uh, can uh, choose from a variety of different munitions uh, with uh, more tracers, uh, combat mix and 30mm uh, uh, high explosive and armor piercing rounds. The combat mix is the uh, most common uh, one and the most uh, but can see versatile. So let's uh, just use the combat mix for this one. Let's set up our aircrafts. Make sure that the radar altimeter is on. Let's uh, remove the seat here for better visibility. Let's turn on the auxiliary store lights or make sure it is in uh, on position. Turn on the sight and turn on the rage insert and fire control. You can choose whether you want uh, the firing rate on the cannon to be decreased or increased. It uh, depends a little bit uh, to me for me actually which one I choose uh, if I'm uh, attacking armored uh, targets I like to keep it at a low uh, firing rate I will show you later why and if I'm attacking uh, soft targets then uh, I like to have it on increased so let's have it on increased uh, for now and let's uh, switch it later and I will show you what I'm talking about and I um, like to have my MG burst on short I like uh, simply short bursts because uh, it is quite uh, a lot of recoil in the auto cannon and it will push the nose down. Again I will show you that later. So let's uh, set uh, the weapon selector switch to fixed MG30 and give uh, Petrovich the instruction to turn on the weapon systems. Like so. And while we're at it let's just sh show you a couple of key bindings. In this tutorial we are uh, simply using two different uh, commands. We are using the release weapons switch right here and the prepare weapons command uh, to gunner. Now next up we will turn our uh, sight mode selector switch to auto and we saw that uh, the f uh, floating reticle uh, moved down there and we are going to set this one to sync and to quickly recap what I said uh, in the rocket tutorials video is that if you have this one in sync mode and you hold uh, the reticle on uh, the moving target for approximately 3 seconds then the target's velocity gets calculated uh, into the targeting computer. I like to have it in sync as default when using the cannon. And here we can uh, adjust for our target size. Today it's a bit uh, varied size actually but uh, let's have it at 5. You can see that uh, the reticle uh, gets wider when turning this. Let's keep that 5, that's roughly our target size. And let's dim our fixed uh, paper a bit, or I mean sight. Something like that. So at this point we are ready to depart. And our targets for today is once again this vehicle column right there. We have uh, a tank, a couple of APCs, a scout vehicle and a couple of trucks. So let's see what our autocannon can do about this. Alright, let's take off. Let's remember to turn on our fan and let's get going. Alright, we are approaching our targets, they are just behind that corner there. Let's once again uh, do a pop-up attack, just like we do with rockets. Alright, let's pop up. Oh, that was quite off course actually. There they are. Alright, let's just pause really quick here. Let's just quickly go over uh, the symbology on the HUD here. 
this little triangle here is uh, indicating our side slip. We're side slipping a little bit uh, to the right. And this uh, little line here indicates 250 meters. So 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, 1750 and 2000. So we are perfectly in firing range. I prefer to use the cannons uh, at uh, roughly 2000 meters. So let's see what we can do. Okay, let's break away. We took some hits there. So as you can see we did uh, quite a lot of damage and you could clearly see the recoil uh, was pu pulling the nose of the helicopter down. But let's take a look at our targets. So as you can see we did quite a good job on the trucks there, three trucks destroyed. Let's do another uh, attack run but let's try to turn on down our uh, firing rate. Alright, let's try one more time. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try to go for after the armored targets a bit. Alright, let's break away. We're taking some hits here, not good. And as you can see, we did uh, quite a good job on uh, the APC here. Let's see if we can manage to get this one. I think this will be the last attack run. I can see that we have taken a little bit of damage. The engine RPM on engine 1 has fallen a bit. That's not a good sign. Break away. We managed to get some hits on uh, the APC, but it is still alive. And down here, we can see our uh, ammo. Count. We have 55 rounds left. You know what guys, let's uh, make this interesting and make uh, one more attack run. Took the truck. Okay, we got it. Let's break away. So guys, that is it for this video. As you could uh, see, 
uh, we had a lot more control when having, having the cannon in uh, decreased firing mode. The increased mode is great if you have a lot of targets in a small area and that, that is soft targets like trucks then you can really take out a lot of them in uh, just a short burst. And here is what is left of the column. As you can see the cannon is really effective uh, up to light armor. But uh, it really loses it, uh, its effectiveness on uh, heavily armored targets. Another thing was that you noticed that I was quite aggressive. I uh, I kept my nose on the targets for uh, quite a long time and absorbed uh, quite a lot of uh, damage actually. So t please take note uh, not to be as cocky as uh, I was. And I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.